Hi guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and today we're going to talk about some wine. So these are from a company called Dry Farm Wines. Dry farming is a technique where basically you don't use irrigation, you use the natural weather to grow your old vines and make wine. So it's more of an all natural technique and these are organic, all natural. They also test them to make sure that they don't have any mold or toxins in them. They don't use any crazy additives. They don't have any sugar in them. They are keto friendly and paleo and low carb and all of that good stuff. They also source these from different wineries. So it's not like they have just one place that they use. They use different biodynamically sourced wineries um, from all over the place. So they sent me these three wines and their wines do tend to be on the pricier side, I will say that. Um, and when you buy them, you can't buy them by the bottle, you have to buy them by the case. So it's more of an investment. They do, however, offer a guarantee so that if you don't like the wines, they will either replace them or you know, whatever. But they also say that their wines taste different and it's one of those things that you kind of have to get used to. Not not have to get used to, but you know, expect it to taste different because these are going to be cleaner wines than what you are used to. I drank all three of these bottles, not all at once, and I filmed myself drinking them so that you could see my first impression and then later how I felt about it because I did want to be able to drink the full bottle and then give you my impression instead of just doing a taste testing, having a couple sips and being like, yeah, these taste weird. So I will show you those clips. Okay, I'm about to try this wine. This is my first glass. I'm excited to try this. Um, oh, it has kind of an interesting taste to it. I mean, they do say that it will taste a bit different. It's a clean wine. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm about to put together a charcuterie plate and then Colin and I are going to go watch Game of Thrones. So I will be drinking this wine and I will let you know if it grows on me. <laughs> okay, this is the last of the bottle and I drank pretty much all of it by myself. Um, I would say that it doesn't taste like any wine I've had before. It's definitely different, not necessarily bad, but it's different. So I can understand why they say that you kind of have to drink it to get to know it and sort of acquire the taste for it. It's not bad. It's just different. I don't know what else to say, you guys. It's I should probably be more hungover than I am, considering I drank that entire bottle of wine last night, but I feel okay, and I think that could be partially due to the lower sugar and the lower sulfites and just, you know, being a clean wine. So, I mean, I'm not saying it's magic wine and you'll never get a hangover, I'm just saying that, you know, it's weird that I'm not hungover today. <laughs> an interesting pattern going on in my wine right there. It's just air bubbles. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> Weird bubbles and all. Oof. I think it just needs to breathe, maybe? It almost tastes carbonated, which can happen sometimes when a wine needs to breathe. And I did just open it. It was a screw top and... Oh, sorry, the kids are fighting in the other room. Anyway, I'm gonna let that breathe and then I will come back to it. Okay, so this is day two of drinking this wine and this one still tastes like it needs to breathe and quite honestly, it's just not very good. So I'm not a fan of this one, but the other one that I had was good there. I have one more bottle from Dry Farms, so we'll see how that one is later. I'm drinking this one. I opened it a couple of days ago and I really liked it. And right now, I think that this is definitely my favorite of the three. It's a little sweeter, a little more full bodied. It's really, really good. The second one was not good, <laughs> but this one is really good. And the first bottle I had was really good. So this one was the only one that I didn't particularly care for. I do think that it would have been better if I had decanted it but because I was only going to have like a glass a night, I didn't do that. I did try aerating it and that didn't really help much. It basically just tasted 
a bit weak and a bit fizzy almost with wines a lot of times when you first open them they almost taste like carbonated or something and usually if you let them sit out for a while that mellows and the wine will taste just fine there's nothing wrong with it so that's what it tasted like but that fizziness never really went away which I don't know, it was just a little bit weird. So this one I didn't particularly like. Both of these were really good. I think this is the one that I drank while I was watching Game of Thrones. That <laughs> was really good. And I did drink the whole bottle while watching Game of Thrones. Um, this one I drank over the course of a couple of days and this one tasted more like a typical wine, more of a full bodied, a little bit sweeter. Not sweet so much as fruit forward. Um, so anyway, overall I really enjoyed having these wines. They do have a lower alcohol content they're like 12 let's see what is this 12.5 percent I think they all are and they do that on purpose they want they want zero sugar low low sulfites and low alcohol which I can appreciate and so if I am stress drinking a bottle of wine watching Game of Thrones I didn't get like crazy drunk and I also wasn't hung over the next day so it was kind of nice I mean 12.5 is you know still alcoholic <laughs> you know I was definitely tipsy by the end of the night but it's not like some, I feel like a lot of wines are trying to be higher alcohol content. You'll see that with beers as well. It's like, ooh, this one's, you know, super high alcohol content. That must mean it's better. And that's not always the case, first of all. And I don't always want to just get plastered. I'm too old for that. So anyway, I really appreciated these wines. I have been trying to be more health conscious as far as my sugar intake and I appreciate the low sulfites. I didn't get, a lot of times after drinking red wine, I will get really bad sinus headaches and I didn't have that with these at all. So anyway, I really thought that these were fabulous wines. Like I said, I didn't particularly care for this one, but I'm sure if I contacted the company, they would send me one that I do like. So anyway, I appreciate that they have that. I did like the wines. They didn't taste like generic Club W, type of wines. I know I, I bag on Club W a lot, but I just felt like their wines were so generic and so jammy and so just like crowd pleasing. They're fine. They're just not, you know, if you're more of a wino and you like more complexity, those are not the wines for you. <laughs> and I felt like these ones were really nice. They did have some complexity, some depth, some interesting flavors to them. And I really enjoyed drinking them. So I think that I have some sort of a discount code or something like that that I will leave in the description box for you if you would like to check these out, especially if you are more on the health conscious side and you have a budget for some more expensive wines and the means to store an entire case of wine and you can get whites and reds just whites just reds i'm more of a red drinker so they sent me three reds so you know i mean you can customize it that way but they honestly don't let you customize too much it's more of like we know our wines are fabulous here you go <laughs> so i don't know it's it's almost a bit arrogant but i think they have the means to back it up so anyway i will leave all of the information in the description box i'm a big fan I would get more of these 100%. Dry Farm Wines has my stamp of approval. Oh, speaking of stamps of approval, they give you these stickers, which at first I was like, oh, that's kind of funny that they give you a Dry Farm wine stickers, but then they don't say Dry Farm Wines on here. So when I was putting them in my wine rack, I was like, I, you know, I was happy to have the stickers to put on the top so that I could identify these as my dry farm wines as opposed to any of my other wines because they're not labeled as such. So for me, I really appreciated that. You know, I mean, if this is all you have on your wine rack, no big deal. But if they are intermingled with other wines, you know, it's sometimes it might be nice to just be like, oh, okay, this is gonna be my keto friendly wine that I'm gonna drink tonight. Or, you know, here's my other wine that I bring out for my friends who like the jammy stuff. You know what I mean? So. Anyway, I just I thought that was a nice little thing that they added in there and I appreciated it and used them and uh, All that so okay. So anyway, uh, if I think of any other information that I think you should know I will leave it in the description box and if you go to their website They have all kinds of information and they tell you about what dry farming is and you know all of that stuff if you are interested in learning more about these plus they actually have their own YouTube channel with various videos so Anyway, I will leave all of that information in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!